Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at my Great Encounters binder. Uh, it's pretty light, so it's probably, I'm going to say that's probably largely to do with the fact that uh, I don't have very many of the reverses. Uh, first page there, we got some hollows. I also don't think there's anything tremendously exciting in this set. Um, so as with a lot of the Diamond and Pearl um, reverses, uh, they're extremely hard to find without scratches on them. Uh, the whole card is all of foil, basically. Especially those white ones where there's no ink over top of it. It's just asking for uh, scratches. We only got a couple on that page. That might be a, a good set to, to grab some singles for. We got our Mawile here, mandatory Mawile pickup. Uh, usually grab those whenever they're available, especially the ones that I was missing. I know I ordered quite a few of those. We got a very beautiful Latios on that page. Lots of hollow foil on him. I don't know, um, I'm not sure what the best strategy is going to be in terms of uh, finding those reverses. It's going to be an absolute nightmare. Because I'm going to end up with a lot of cards that don't quite uh, meet the condition requirements that I uh, kind of expect from my binder cards. We got some uh, pretty interesting art going on here. Oh, uh, that uh, Grand Bull. He's just walking through the snow. I guess that's kind of fitting as we're getting into the winter months. we go. We got a Metapod slapped on a random forest. Back into the old uh, Ken Sugimori slap it together artworks where they uh, take some stock Ken Sugimori art and put it on a background. Still don't know uh, if he had any input on what the background was actually going to be or if they just uh, took a random stock image that they had laying around. I like that caterpillar. though. It's kind of neat. It's kind of crawling, crawling right at you. Weasel, Whalmer. Yeah, I'm missing all kinds of cards here. Like this is, this is all like commons and uncommons. So we might have to do a, a troll order or something. Try and fill out these, uh, these binders. A few more on this page. I don't know. I don't think it's worth ordering the, uh, the reverses from there, just because they're going to be all beat, beat to hell. But uh, definitely these non-hollows should be easy, easy pickings. I just, uh, I think these are just ones that I've gradually picked up over the uh, the years from collection purchases and and such. And then I'm sure I've found a bunch of damaged ones that uh, didn't make it into the binder. It's a cool weedle as well. We got a little bit of a winter theme going on. It's got like the leaves. So far, the the weedle and the caterpie are the uh, the best of right now. We got a we've got some more unknowns in the set. Looks like we do have a couple level X's in here. Premier Ball, Cresselia. As I said. Uh, I think it was in the last video. Uh, the level X's are amongst my my favorites. You now up until recently, a lot of people didn't like them, but uh, I don't know. They just uh, the air works nice. It's like subtle enough. It's different enough that it's that it's nice and exciting, but uh, subtle enough that it's not your whole card with text flying all over the place. And it looks like we have a few things in the back here. Some some variants. We got some crosshatch promos, which I'm assuming are from the uh, Pokemon League promos. Uh, and then we have a Palkia, which is normally a non-holo. This one's a holo, so I think that came from a theme deck. It looks like we cracked one of our cards. Our uh, Dialga Level X it used to be a PSA seven. That's it for that one. What do we have next time? Tune back in tomorrow for some Majestic Dawn.
see you guys there.